Hey everybody, Christopher Mink, and this is an iOS 6 Siri guide. Siri, find me a restaurant in Merrick. Okay, so Siri's going out to the web, finding restaurants in Merrick, hopefully. Okay. And now you see, this is what's different in iOS 6. You have these new, it's like cards. Um, now this information that you see here within the card, that shows the reviews, uh, the number of stars, uh, Burger 9.5, surprise it's only three stars, that's actually really good. Um, and you can kind of just scroll through this and find specific information. Um, San Marzano, that's another good one. So now if you click on this, you'll get a little bit more information about uh, the specific restaurant. Um, you also get mapping information if you click on that that'll open up the new iOS 6 maps which by chance we will have a video feature on that as well so check our YouTube uh, on that. Um, click on reviews you'll get actual specific reviews so you'll learn that their pesto chicken pizza is top-notch. Um, so that's pretty much the overview of how you find restaurants within Siri. So as you can see, it's uh, it's super helpful. Now, if this if the specific restaurant that you select uh, supports Open Table, uh, if you have Open Table that app installed on your iPhone, you can jump into that app and make a reservation. So that's a pretty good feature. Siri, Siri, find me a steakhouse in Merrick. What was that again? Find me a steakhouse in Merrick. I found three steak restaurants in Merrick. Okay, so I like Brooks and Porter. That place is just flat out awesome. As you can see here, Open Table gives you the option to make a reservation. Now this is a little bit jarring because it takes you out of Siri, and I guess that's part of the problem with Siri is that Siri is not really a it's an, kind of like a hidden app, if you will. Um, so anyway, if you have an account with um, OpenTable, I can make a reservation for Brooks and Porter, but I can't afford that right now, so no Brooks and Porter for me. So let's get on to one of the other features. Uh, Siri is very entertainment focused, so let's see if we can find movies. Now you can say a couple things. You can say what movies are playing, or you can simple, simply say movies. So let's try it. What movies are playing? Checking for movies. I found quite a number of movies playing nearby for today. Okay, now once again, this is a pretty, as you see, it's a different type of card, but same type of card information that it displays, which is just a just a nicer way to provide you with information. Um, they'll give you various show times. Uh, as you see here, Resident Evil Retribution, you'll have Showtimes, and this here is um, Rotten Tomatoes reviews. So you can click on this, and just like Yelp, sort of, you're going to get reviews of that specific movie. Now we're going to go back, you can watch the trailer, right, within, don't make me a liar. Okay, now I'd have to tilt that back, but you get the idea, and you can scroll down, and here is where you get the information on the theater. So it's playing at 11 theaters. So, okay, the Seaford, Cin Seaford Cinemas is closest to me. These are the show times. Now, if I click on Seaford Cinemas, here's a pretty cool thing. It's going to open up the new Maps application. And now clicking on this icon will give me... Well, I don't want to show you where my home is, so I'm going to click out of that. It's going to give me driving directions. So wherever I'm at, it's going to give me driving directions to that movie theater. Now, say for instance, you have a particular theater. You don't want it to show you show times for 11 different theaters. You can tell Siri the name of your theater. So let's see if I get this right. What movies are playing at the UA Multiplex Cinemas in Farmingdale? Find these 25 movies for today. 
Okay, so close enough. Um, it's worked for me in the past. Siri is in beta, so <laughs> continues to be in beta at this form, but it works fairly well. Now, uh, one of the things that's built in, it used to be if you had a question about trivia regarding movies, it was difficult for you to go out. You'd have to go to IMDB. Well, now a lot of that information is all baked into Siri, so let's give it a try. Who won Best Actor in 1989? Okay, here's Rain Man for which Dustin Hoffman won the Oscar for Best Actor in 1989. That's pretty neat, right? And if you scroll down to the bottom here, you can buy it or rent it on iTunes. So some nice integration here uh, with movies. Um, what was Best Movie in 1979? Now here's a feature that I really enjoy. Let's say that you have a favorite actor and you're wondering about what movies were coming up. Show me movies with Tom Cruise. Checking for movies with Tom Cruise. Here are the last 25 movies starring Tom Cruise. Now, while Siri says the last 25 movies, it also includes movies that are coming out. So Jack Reacher is coming out on December 21st, and Oblivion, uh, which I hadn't heard of prior to using Siri, uh, is coming out on April 19th. So uh, good news there. So uh, as you can see, plenty of information, really easy to kind of access your movies, really shows in a, a very detailed format, um, but great to look at. Now, if you're a sports fan, there's plenty for you in Siri. Um, let's find out what the Yankees did last night. What was the score of the Yankees game? The Yankees beat the Rays by a score of 6-4 to four last Sunday. Okay. What time is today's Yankee game? The Yankees Blue Jays game starts at 7.05 p.m. What time is tomorrow's Yankees game? The Yankees Blue Jays game is tomorrow at 7.05 p.m. Now it also applies to different sports and you can also get granular in your requests. Like for instance, what are the standings for the NFC East? So my Cowboys are in second, not bad, should be in first, but we'll let it slide. Uh, you can also find particular stats for a player. What are Tony Romo's stats? Here's Tony Romo. That's pretty awesome. And you can also find information on specific statistical categories. So who leads the Major League Baseball in home runs? The Major League Baseball. <laughs> Josh Hamilton leads the league with 42 home runs this season. Okay, another trick that um, is probably one that you use often is the ability to open an app. So let's try that. Open Tweetbot. There you go. It opened Tweetbot, and there's my account, which is at M E I N C K. So I hope you'll follow me on Twitter. And, uh, that concludes our uh, our walkthrough with uh, Siri. Oh wait, I almost forgot one more thing. We're in we are in Twitter, so why don't we try updating our Twitter status? Update my Twitter status. What would you like to say? Testing Siri. I updated your tweet. There you go. Ready to send it? So we're gonna press cancel. Okay. And we can also do this, update my Facebook status. What would you like your message to say? I am all kinds of awesome. I updated your Facebook status. And I'm not going to send that this, this time. I sent that yesterday. Okay. I won't post it. So there you go. This has um, been a look at Siri in iOS 6. I hope you find it helpful. And check us out online at 
everythingicafe.com. Thanks for joining us.